Spaceports are specialized facilities designed to launch spacecraft into orbit or beyond, serving as the critical infrastructure for both government-led space programs and the burgeoning commercial space industry. In the modern space race, spaceports have become strategic assets, enabling nations and private companies to deploy satellites, conduct scientific research, and even lay the groundwork for space tourism and interplanetary exploration. Their significance lies in their ability to support technological innovation, economic growth, and national security by providing reliable access to space. China's recent achievements in this domain underscore its ambition to lead the global space industry. One standout development is the Wanchang Space Launch Site on Hainan Island, which has become a cornerstone of China's space program. Unlike older inland launch sites, Wanchang's coastal location allows for easier transportation of large rocket components and minimizes the risk to populated areas during launches. This site has been pivotal in launching the Long March 5th and Long March 7th rockets, which are integral to China's plans for lunar exploration, including the construction of the International Lunar Research Station and its Tianwen-1 mission to Mars. What sets China apart is not just the technical sophistication of its spaceports but also their role in advancing the country's dual-use capabilities, supporting both civilian and military applications. By expanding its network of spaceports and investing in reusable rocket technology, China is positioning itself as a leader in the next phase of the space race, where accessibility, sustainability, and commercial viability are key. This achievement highlights how spaceports are no longer just launch pads but hubs of innovation driving humanity's future in space. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Space travel has long been fraught with immense challenges, ranging from technical and logistical hurdles to economic and environmental concerns. Historically, these obstacles have limited access to space and made it a domain dominated by only a handful of nations. However, the establishment of modern spaceports, such as those developed by China, represents a significant step toward addressing these issues and democratizing space exploration. 1. Technological Complexity one of the primary challenges of space travel is the sheer complexity of designing, building, and launching spacecraft. Rockets must withstand extreme forces during liftoff and operate in the harsh conditions of outer space. Traditional launch facilities were often located inland, which imposed limitations on rocket size and payload capacity due to the need for overland transportation of components. Modern spaceports, like China's Wanchang Space Launch Site, are strategically located near coastlines to facilitate the transport of large rocket stages by sea. This reduces logistical constraints and allows for the use of heavier, more powerful rockets, such as the Long March 5th, which are essential for ambitious missions like lunar exploration and Mars landings. 2. High Costs The cost of space travel has historically been prohibitively expensive, with launches requiring significant financial investment in infrastructure, technology, and personnel. This high barrier to entry has restricted space activities to government-led programs and a few wealthy private companies. By centralizing launch operations and incorporating reusable rocket technologies, spaceports can reduce costs over time. For instance, China's focus on developing reusable rockets and optimizing launch site efficiency lowers the expense of individual missions. Additionally, commercial spaceports attract private enterprises, fostering competition and innovation that drive down costs further. 3. Environmental Concerns Rocket launches produce significant greenhouse gas emissions and other pollutants, raising environmental concerns. The construction of launch facilities can also disrupt local ecosystems, particularly in sensitive areas. Modern spaceports are increasingly designed with sustainability in mind. Coastal locations, like Wanchang, minimize ecological damage compared to inland sites. Moreover, advancements in rocket fuel technology, such as the use of cleaner propellants, help mitigate environmental impacts. China's commitment to green technologies in its space program reflects an effort to balance progress with environmental responsibility. 4. Geopolitical and Security Risks Historically, space travel has been intertwined with geopolitical tensions, as nations vie for dominance in this strategic domain. Launch sites are vulnerable to espionage, sabotage, or natural disasters, complicating mission planning. 
Spaceports are designed with robust security measures to protect against threats. China's development of multiple launch sites across diverse geographic regions ensures redundancy and resilience, reducing the risk of disruptions. Furthermore, the dual-use nature of spaceports, supporting both civilian and military applications, enhances national security while advancing scientific goals. 5. Accessibility and Global Reach Traditional spaceports were often limited in their ability to reach certain orbits efficiently due to their geographic location. For example, equatorial sites are ideal for launching geostationary satellites but are less common globally. The strategic placement of spaceports near the equator, such as the proposed international spaceports in locations like Hainan, maximizes the Earth's rotational speed to boost payloads into orbit more efficiently. This not only expands the range of missions possible but also makes space travel more accessible to countries without their own launch capabilities. China's Wenchang Space Launch Site, located on the tropical island of Hainan, represents a leap forward in spaceport design and functionality. Its unique features, strategic location, and mission capabilities set it apart from existing space facilities worldwide, making it a cornerstone of China's ambitious space program. 1. Strategic Location One of the most significant advantages of Wenchang is its proximity to the equator. Located at just 19 degrees north latitude, it is closer to the equator than any other major Chinese launch site. This positioning allows rockets to take full advantage of the Earth's rotational speed, which provides an additional velocity boost during launch. This equatorial advantage reduces the amount of fuel needed to reach orbit, enabling heavier payloads or more efficient missions. Traditional inland launch sites, such as Jiaquan in China's Gobi Desert, are situated at higher latitudes, limiting their ability to support certain types of missions efficiently. Similarly, while the U.S.'s Kennedy Space Center, 28.5 degrees north, and Europe's Guiana Space Center, 5.2 degrees north, also benefit from equatorial proximity, Wenchang's coastal access and advanced infrastructure give it a competitive edge. 2. Coastal Accessibility Unlike China's older inland spaceports, Wenchang's coastal location offers a logistical advantage. Rockets and their components can be transported by sea rather than overland, eliminating the size restrictions imposed by narrow roads, tunnels, and bridges. This has enabled the development and deployment of larger rockets, such as the Long March 5th, which is critical for heavy lift missions. The ability to transport oversized components by ship has allowed China to build rockets with diameters exceeding 5 meters, a feat that would have been impossible with traditional inland transportation methods. This capability positions Wenchang as a hub for launching heavy payloads, including large satellites, interplanetary probes, and crewed spacecraft. 3. Advanced Infrastructure Wenchang boasts state-of-the-art facilities designed to support a wide range of missions. The site has two dedicated launch pads, one for heavy-lift rockets like the Long March 5th and another for medium-lift vehicles like the Long March 7th. This dual-pad setup ensures flexibility and minimizes delays between launches. Unlike many traditional launch sites, Wenchang incorporates public engagement into its design. A visitor center and observation areas allow spectators to witness launches, fostering public interest in space exploration and boosting local tourism. The facility incorporates eco-friendly practices, such as waste management systems and energy-efficient operations, aligning with global efforts to reduce the environmental impact of space activities. 4. Mission Capabilities Wenchang is specifically designed to support a diverse array of missions, reflecting China's growing ambitions in space. The Long March 5th rockets launched from Wenchang have already played a pivotal role in China's lunar program, including the successful Chang'e 5 mission, which returned lunar samples to Earth in 2020. Future missions, such as the construction of an international lunar research station, will rely heavily on Wenchang's capabilities. In 2021, Wenchang launched the Tianwen-1 mission, China's first Mars probe, which successfully landed a rover on the Martian surface. The site's ability to handle complex interplanetary missions underscores its versatility. Wenchang has been instrumental in launching modules for China's Tiangong Space Station, including the Tianhe Core module. Its capacity to deploy large payloads makes it indispensable for sustaining and expanding human presence in low Earth orbit. The spaceport also supports commercial satellite missions, catering to both domestic and international clients. 
This aligns with China's broader goal of becoming a leader in the global space economy. 5. Unique advantages over existing facilities. While Wanchang shares some similarities with other world-class space sports, several factors set it apart. A. Dual use for civilian and military purposes. Like many Chinese space initiatives, Wanchang serves both civilian and defense-related objectives. Its integration into China's broader strategic framework enhances its importance beyond purely scientific missions. B. Focus on heavy-lift rockets. While other spaceports, such as Florida's Cape Canaveral or Russia's Baikonur Cosmodrome, have long histories of supporting heavy-lift missions, Wanchang's modern infrastructure and equatorial location make it uniquely suited for next-generation rockets. C. Integration with regional development. Wanchang's development is part of China's broader economic strategy for Hainan province, which includes transforming the region into a high-tech hub. This approach contrasts with older spaceports, which were often isolated and primarily focused on aerospace activities. China's recent launch of 18 satellites from a new commercial spaceport on the tropical island province of Hainan marks a significant milestone in the country's push to compete in the global space market, analysts say. The mission broke new ground for China's space industry, with a state-developed Long March 8Y6 rocket executing its first-ever ride-share mission by carrying a cluster of satellites into orbit on behalf of a private enterprise. The satellites are part of the SpaceSail project, also known as Thousand Sails, a satellite internet initiative led by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology that seeks to rival Elon Musk's Starlink service. This launch was the fifth installment of the SpaceSail constellation, which aims to deploy up to 14,000 satellites to provide internet access to remote and underserved regions. According to Chinese media reports, the mission brought the total number of space sail satellites in low Earth orbit to 90. The launch also marked the debut of a new launch pad at Hainan Spaceport, China's first commercially operated space center, which began operations last year. With this successful mission, the facility now boasts two operational launch pads, bolstering its capacity for future launches. This launch serves as a technology demonstration for commercial missions using domestically developed space technology, said Richard de Grice, a professor at Macquarie University in Australia. The SpaceSail project, which aims to establish a massive satellite network, is positioning itself to compete directly with Starlink on the international stage, according to Space News. Quentin Parker, director of the Laboratory for Space Research at the University of Hong Kong, emphasized the significance of the Hainan spaceport in China's broader ambitions. This launch firmly places Hainan on the map of China's commercial spaceflight future as the country seeks to challenge Starlink and Elon Musk in the realm of commercial satellite constellations, he said. The mission marked the first use of the Long March 8th rocket for the SpaceSail project with previous clusters launched via the Long March 6th A from the Taiyuan National Spaceport. Xiao Yun, director of the Long March 8th series, stated in an official release that the mission's success solidified the rocket's role in commercial launches and paved the way for more frequent deployments in the future. Looking ahead, the Hainan Spaceport is expanding its infrastructure, with two additional launch pads currently under construction. These developments are expected to enhance China's launch capabilities and support its growing presence in the global commercial space sector. The Wanchang Space Launch Site exemplifies how modern spaceports are evolving to meet the demands of the 21st century space race. Its combination of geographic advantages, cutting-edge infrastructure, and versatile mission support makes it a standout facility in the global landscape. By addressing historical limitations of inland launch sites and embracing innovation, Wanchang not only advances China's space ambitions but also sets a new standard for what a spaceport can achieve in terms of efficiency, sustainability, and public engagement. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military advancements and developments. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.